Welcome to today's session. Today we're going to walk through the steps required to use an iPhone or an iPad to make up a backup audio recording for your lecture. So let's get started. So one of the major tips we have for when you are preparing your slides to accompany an audio recording, it's really handy to have on the very bottom the slide number. And the reason why is as you're going through your session, you can occasionally add in, um, I'm currently on slide 8, and that really helps the listener. So the first step to doing an iPad recording of your audio is to go to the App Store and download an app. The one we recommend is actually can actually be found if you search for voice recorder using a complete word, voice recorder with no spaces, and you'll come up with three options. And we recommend voice recorder for the iPad, the center one. It's a 99 cent purchase, well worth the 99 cents to be able to download it and be able to use this one. So buy that app and install it on your iPad. So after you purchase the iPad or voice recorder for the iPad, click on open and start the app on your iPad. You'll notice then the bottom left hand corner there's a small red button and that's how you start your recording. So simply press the button and you'll notice on the top that there's a little icon or a little red bar that's showing you the actual audio. And in fact, right now it's capturing my audio. And you simply can put your iPad on the side of your desk or your lectern and actually record up to several hours of audio. Once you're completed, press the square button on the side and you now have an audio recording listed on the area that says recordings. And so here's our date and time. So once we've got that recording, now how do you share it? So once you've made your recording, the next part is to share it or to be able to move that to somewhere else. So you select the recording that you want and there's two places to use it to share. The first is the share button which gives you options of emailing it, saving it to photos or sharing it directly to YouTube which might be an option uh, as a temporary option to be able to share it and, and create a, your own YouTube channel. The other option is in the top left hand corner, sorry, top right hand corner where there's a button that shows like a download. And if you click on there, you can actually use iTunes and sync the recording to iTunes um, simply by, by connecting your iPad to your computer. So we're going to take this that step. We're going to go to connecting it to iTunes using a computer. But first, let's take a look at repeating this whole process on an iPhone. Okay, so on an iPhone, the process is the same. You go to the App Store and find using Voice Recorder One Word the voice recorder for the iPhone. Again, 99 cents, um, well worth the money. Click on install or buy and quickly the same process as what we did on the iPad. You install the app. Okay, so once you've got the, the app installed on your iPhone, um, it looks a little bit different than on the iPad. Same process. In the bottom left hand corner, there's the record button. Press the record button. You'll note again the recording starts press the button. Closed. Make sure that when you do press it that you actually don't press it twice because it'll pause the recording. And you can see because on the bottom edge the little dial is showing that there is an audio sound um, or a sound being recorded. Once the recording is done, again press stop. Alright, once you've made the recording, um, on an iPhone app it's a little bit different. On the very front screen you notice in the top right hand corner is a little arrow. If in fact you want to sync it, you could sync it wirelessly. Um, but again, using iTunes or cancel and the same process when you attach it to your computer it becomes an option or if we go to the list in the bottom right hand corner on the list here's where you can actually select the recording and uh, not only can you share it in here you can also add specific details to it so again share on YouTube on the far right hand side we click on the little arrow you can actually change the name change the date um, and other details so let's go back and see if we can connect these two devices to a computer and uh, sync it with iTunes and upload it to a place where students can get to it. So the first thing to do is to make sure your computer has a new version of iTunes. Go to the www.itunes.com website and download a new version of iTunes. It should recognize your kind of computer, your type of computer, um, and download and install the newest version of iTunes. So to prepare to download an audio file, what you need to do is make a document 
folder to store the file in. So go and go to the common spot documents is a good place and make a folder called my audio lecture recordings or something like that to actually have a place to store your audio lecture recordings. So once you have iTunes loaded up on your computer, turn to your iPad and plug in the cord and connect your iPad to the computer. Once your computer has been connected to your iPad for a moment, in the top right hand corner of iTunes you'll notice a little iPad icon. If you note there's the word iPod, iPad and a little arrow with the underscore. If you click on the underscore you'll actually disconnect it. So you want to click on the word iPad. And this takes you to the main iTunes directory for your iPad. In here, to be able to find the recording, go to the apps on the top menu. So where it says Summary, Info, Apps and click on apps and this brings you to all the apps that are on your I iPad. Scroll down on the screen where it says file sharing and locate the voice recorder app. If you click on it, it brings up a link of all of the iPod or iPad recordings using that app. And simply click on the one that you made and use save to my audio lecture recordings, double click and you can save yep select the folder and you'll save the icon or you'll save the recording down to that folder so once you've downloaded the file go to your main menu find your documents find the folder you saved it in and in my audio lecture recordings if you double click you'll notice that you have a, a file that's a m4a or an audio file format it's not a very large file in this case because we only recorded a couple seconds. So again to take the recorded audio off of your iPhone, connect your iPhone, same thing, use your USB cord to your computer and in the top right hand corner the little iPhone icon will pop up similar to what the iPad was. You might have to use your mouse to scroll down and find voice recorder app, select the voice recorder app and any of the recordings that you've made Again, same thing, you select the recording, you select where to save it to, and we've already got a folder. So if you click Save To, and you find your, uh, in My Documents, you find your uh, My Audio Lecture Recordings folder, and select Folder, and instantly, or rather quickly, your audio will be recorded to that folder. So now let's take a look at how do we make it accessible to people inside places like Blackboard or another LMS. So once you've got the audio file downloaded to your computer, log into your learning management system, in this case Blackboard, and navigate to the area to where you want to add the resource. In this case, it's to the unit resources. On the top left hand corner or in the area where you build content, you can simply add in a module one or wherever you want to add, you can build content, you can add a file. And in this case, we recommend adding a file, not an audio file, simply because um, there's specific kinds of files that will play on specific learning management systems. Um, this one is better to use it as a direct file. Browse to your computer and find the location. Again, it's um, My Audio Lecture Recordings. Double click on the, I the file Lecture Audio. And once you double click the lecture, it will pop up as a file and you can label it. Once you label it, uh, lecture recording, lecture podcast, save, it, save that to your learning management system, scroll down a little bit there and submit, and once you've submitted it, it pops up as an actual item, as a lecture recording. When you click on it, their learning management system should allow it to simply pop up and start playing. So whether you're using an uh, iPhone or an iPad, you can quickly add an audio lecture recording to your Blackboard or to your LMS site. So we hope this has helped you make up backup recording of your lecture using an iPad or an iPhone.